The first question I'd like to address is, what is the main takeaway from our article? Essentially, we found that central obesity was more important than general obesity for neuropathy. We did anthropometric measurements in obese patients and found that those with neuropathy had larger waist circumference when you measure at the iliac crest and smaller measurements at the hip and the thigh. All other anthropometric measurements were the same and the BMI was the same between these groups. My name is Brian Callahan and I'm an associate professor of neurology at the University of Michigan. I'd like to discuss my article entitled Central Obesity is Associated with Neuropathy in the Severely Obese, which will be published soon in the AO of Clinical Proceedings. Other metabolic factors, including triglycerides and systolic blood pressure, were also important, but waist circumference, once again, uh, is a very important metabolic risk factor for neuropathy. Another question is, how does this affect our patients and our clinical care? And I think it emphasizes, once again, the importance of treating obesity in order to help people prevent the development of neuropathy and if they have neuropathy for it not to get worse. We don't know this definitively, but um, exercise, dietary weight loss, and surgical weight loss all may be routes um, to decrease obesity with the hope that it might help people's nerves. What are the next steps of our research? Well, that's actually doing the studies that will prove uh, that treating obesity can help people with neuropathy. That, that requires randomized controlled uh, trials. And we're currently doing a randomized controlled trial of high intensity interval training in patients that are severely obese and comparing that also to those that have bariatric surgery and those that do not. Medical weight loss is another thing that, that we're studying and how that impacts neuropathy over time. It's also important to study the impact of central obesity in other populations across the world and in those that are less severely obese. I hope you enjoy reading our article. Thanks. We hope you found this presentation from the content of our website valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our home page is www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you'll find access to information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about Healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.